In this class we will learn how to scale sketches, adapting the geometry size according to the values of the desired quotas. The sizing is carried out after or together with the application of geometric relations. Let's look and practice how to scale entities, using the sketch started in the previous class. Since we have already applied geometric relationships, we will scale it with the command smart dimension to define it completely. Avoiding unwanted changes and facilitating later edits. Using the command smart dimension is very simple and with this single command we scale all kinds of entities. We click on the command. Click on the line we want to scale and move the mouse, noting that the current value of the entity is shown. We click to position the dimensional, enter the value of 100 mm into the open box and confirm. Note that the sketch is resized according to the value we enter while maintaining the geometric relationships. To scale the circle, we click on it, and when moving the mouse, the current value of the diameter is shown. We position the quota by clicking on the graphic area, enter the value of 15 mm and press enter. To show this quota with the radius value, simply right click on it and click on display as radius. We quote the distance from the circle to the entity on the left by typing the value of 20 mm. For the height we set 30 mm. The left vertical line we set with 100 mm and the distance between the circles with 50 mm. We size the missing entities, as shown, noting that the sketch automatically updates to each set value. To exit the command we type escape, or click on its icon again. Note in the status bar the expression fully defined, which indicates that the sketch is fully defined. Now let's work with this piece by making some changes to the sketch of Feature Boss Extrude 1. We click on it and on the floating bar select Edit Sketch. We click on the Normal to option. In the sequence, we will delete the two circles by selecting each one and typing Delete. Now we will draw a rectangle, however, first we access the menu tools, options. In the system options tab, we click on sketch and enable the options shown. With these options enabled, we can enter the values of the dimensional at the time we are drawing the entities. We confirm the box and activate the rectangle tool. We click on the graphic area, drag the mouse and see that quotas are displayed in the entities. Without releasing the click of the mouse, we type 10 and press enter. Now we enter the value of the next entity, in this case 60, press enter and see that the rectangle is created and already scaled. We can also use this feature for other commands such as line and circle. We can also define a sketch automatically, using the command fully defined sketch, accessed by right clicking the mouse in the graphic area. In the property manager we can choose all entities, or select manually. 
we select the displayed entities and click Calculate. Note the dimensions you add to complete the size of the rectangle. We can change the value of a dimensional by double clicking on it, typing the new value and confirming the box. We make the changes and confirm the sketch. Alright, we finished this class, where we learn how to scale sketches.